In this video we're going to create a form so we can enter data into our table. First thing we need to do is make sure our table is highlighted then click create. And we can see this is categorized by tables, forms, reports and other. So we're under the form section and we go to form. We just click that and there we have a very simple form created based on what we had highlighted which is the uh, TBL clients. Now the first thing I like to do is change the view. I, I like going to design view and how we have these fields here is not quite how I want them. For example, these fields are are too tall I'd like them to be the same height as these two fields. And secondly, I, I want a slightly larger note section. So, first thing I do is to highlight this field, this one, this one, and this one. So all I do is I, over here, left mouse click and drag so that this square will touch all these fields. The next thing I'll do is I'll right mouse click on this area. Not outside here but on this particular area here. So right mouse click down to size I'm going to, I'm going to choose to the shortest. So in this case the shortest height is the client ID one. I'll click off here and there you can see it's created all these identical height. Now the notes section I want to increase the size of but first of all I want to improve the size of this area. So I'm just going to go here, left mouse click and drag down. So I'm just going to click on the notes area. I'm just going to go to the bottom right hand corner here. You can see it changes to a a couple of arrows, left mouse click, drag down, and let go. So we have more space for our notes. Also I'm going to narrow the width. So left mouse click across here and drag so all these fields are touched by this square, let go, and then just go to one of these one of these ones here, these little nodes if you like left mouse click and drag and let go. If you want to also reduce the size of this area I'll just click off. I can drag that across but note that if I click up here this is too wide so we have to reduce that size first and only then can we drag that across. Next I'm just going to change the title, so single click and then click again. I'm just going to delete that, hit enter again. And there is our form. So I'm going to close this down, right mouse click, close. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. But instead of calling TBL clients which would suggest it's a table I'm going to put FRM in front of it instead. Click OK and now we have a form. If I double click that you can see the form representing a single record. We have the client ID there. If I tab across a note section we can put multiple lines of information in here and it's even got a scroll bar and everything. Down here it shows what record we're on so if I press tab again it goes to the next record you can use the navigation buttons here that's the previous record, that's the next record 
that's the first record in your list and that's the last record. To add a new record you can click here. So and notice we've got the the pen here and the and the dots which means it's currently being edited if I just tab again it's gone to a different record and that's been saved so if I go to the previous record you can see that it's been saved in the database here now let me close that down right mouse click close or alternatively just a single click over there I'm going to double click on the table and you can see here that third record stored within the table and that's how you create a simple form based on your table